In today's video, we're going to talk about Freedom Week and how it relates to your AR-15. Thanks for joining us again on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we've been getting a lot of questions uh, regarding AR-15s and Freedom Week. But before I go on, I want to thank all of our uh, subscribers and thank you guys for tuning in. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and uh, share, subscribe, and like. Hit that little button also so you get instant notification. But anyway, as we were talking about before, uh, with Freedom Week that happened just not that long ago, California was flooded with uh, standard capacity magazines. And of course there was a buying spree for AR-15 mags because the AR-15 is one of the most popular platforms in the United States, let alone California. But one of the things that we need to caution people about is with the AR-15 being in two different configurations, there are specific laws that require um, compliance if you're going to use a standard magazine capacity. Now, for instance, I've got my handy dandy AR-15 here, and the way this is set up, this is set up in a configuration known as featureless. You can see it's gotten away with the pistol grip, the, uh, the buttstock is no longer collapsible, it no longer has a flash hider, so this is what would be known as a featureless. It's gone away with all of the old features that are considered uh, objectionable by the state of California. And if you have a featureless AR-15, you can use a standard 30 round magazine. However, the, not, the same is not true if you have what's known as a fixed magazine AR-15. Now, some of these different models might come with uh, such accessories as say the Juggernaut Warfighter, where you would push a button, it would crack the action, uh, the, the top from the, the lower, just enough so that you would be considered partially disassembling the rifle in order to drop the magazine and reload. Well, the law is fairly clear, and the law that I'm referencing here is Penal Code uh, section number 30515, and it reads, um, A, notwithstanding section 30510, assault weapon also means any of the following. And when we get down here to section 2, a semi-automatic centerfire rifle that has a fixed magazine with a capacity to accept 10 or more rounds. So if you are running a configuration in which your AR-15 is set up as a fixed magazine, you could inadvertently be committing a felony by installing a standard capacity magazine in it. And one of the things that we're trying to do when we create our community is inform our folks, our subscribers, to keep people out of trouble and to keep people out of jail. So because of this, you may need to rethink the way your rifle is configured. And that's been happening quite a bit down at the gun store that I work with, is people have been coming in saying, I'm here for my mags, and then we, we caution them saying, is that a fixed mag or is that a featureless? And unfortunately, some folks have gotten the bad news that now they've got to reconfigure their rifle into featureless if they want to be able to take their 30 rounders and go out to the, uh, the, the range with them. So what we're trying to do here is urge caution. Know what the law is before you just get your range bag, head out to the range, and you know light up some targets. Just be aware that there are certain do's or don'ts. If you're featureless, you're good. If you are fixed magazine, you're gonna have to stick with, stick with your 10 rounders. So just a word to the wise. So for those of you that have been watching, we sure appreciate it. And if you like what we're doing, you can also support us on our Patreon channel. And we'll put up the information on the lower third so you can find us there. Anyway, we'd like to thank the, the, my producer, Steve Teal. And we'd also like to thank our subscribers who made all this possible and help us get traction. On behalf of Shoot of the Series, I'm Ed Thorell for Firearms Education and Training. Y'all take care.